fashion and music. Fashion and music. Fashionable music. You're watching Entertainment with Julian and tonight we're down at Control for Top Man's celebration of eclectic new music. Let's get inside and have a look. Guys, I'm going to start with a big question. What do you think your biggest achievement to date is? Biggest achievement to date? I know, it's a head, head scratcher. Being interviewed by a fashion <laughs> channel. A fashion channel, that's, that's a first for us. In all seriousness, on nights like tonight where people are really celebrating your music, do you feel a sense of pride? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, we've kind of, you know, every time somebody asks you to be somewhere, that's, that's you know, there's a billion bands out there. So, you know, it's, and there's a lot of great ones here tonight. Is it quite a surreal feeling? No, I would say. Um, I think it probably starts off being a bit surreal. You know, when you're a kid and you fantasise about any kind of gig. Did you prefer being in the studio or out on stage and touring and stuff? Um, I think my favourite bit is probably writing uh, when or when I've just written something rather, not the actual kind of grind of trying to make something happen. What have you got planned in the next few months then? Uh, we're going to the US tomorrow. So we're going to do our first uh, New York shows and then we're going to South by Southwest in Austin. How do you put a look together? Is it just go in the wardrobe or do you have something in mind? It's uh, quite a big issue because it's like, should you all dress the same on stage or as part of a, a theme, you know? Yeah. And to do that, you need a lot of cash. You need to try out a lot of things. You need to have similar tastes. There's quite a lot of things that need to come together to do that and I, I don't think we've ever really quite gone there, have we? I mean, Dan, Dan, Dan's kind of garb of choice would be a shell suit, but we've got him in double denim. Oh, I haven't had a shell suit since I was 12. No, none of us have. But I mean, I loved it. So tomorrow, when you're, or tonight when you're packing your suitcase for the US, what are the three items that will definitely go in there? The trunks going in. Probably won't wear them on stage. Um, I think it's this jacket, probably. Yeah. Quite like this jacket. And um, gig shoes. I love my shoes that I'm wearing right now which is good because I don't have any others. Basically, I don't have very many clothes, so I'll take all the clean ones that I've got and I'll put them in a bag. What feels like you've been your biggest achievement today? I'll go with guitarist Tom. I'd say, well, we really enjoyed our uh, support tour with The Rapture. That's a band that I've oh. appreciated for a long time, and yeah, to play with them was pretty unreal. Who are your musical influences? Uh, well, they're pretty varied. I think in the group, everyone's got different influences. Um, uh, I know, like you mentioned, Kanye and stuff was one thing. Some of us more into electronic music, some into like guitar music, but I think it works quite well as a blend. Tom, you've got quite a distinctive vocal. Have you always, that's just always come out that way, or did you have to work on to get that nice? Yeah, no, 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 that's just, that's just the way it's been. I think um, when I was about 16 and I first started playing guitar and writing songs, I, I think I was pretty well known for really not being able to sing as well as I thought I could. And I don't know, that still might be the case, but you know, pers there's a lot to be said for perseverance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tenacity over talent. Damn, st <laughs> damn straight. Yeah. What are your fashion influences? Mostly European, I'd say. We, we signed with a French label because the guy who is the, the head of the label boss just had the best shoes we'd ever seen. Like, just walked into the meeting and you were like, who's like, who's the rock star here? The guy who owns the record label or, you know, he just dressed in my And we were like, that guy, yeah. we're going with him. So the album's out in May, what then? Lots of touring, a um, few visits to, to Europe for festivals and um, just hopefully building a loyal and um, excitable fan base. How does the writing process work? You sit down with a keyboard or a guitar and just go? No, no, it can come from anywhere. We just try and find something that's um, hooky as a place to start, whether that's a lyric or um, a little melody, and then, um, you know, develop it from there and try not to be boring. That's all we got time for this week, but for more fashion, entertainment and music news, head over to fastshot.tv or check out our social media. Because as Bob Hoskins once said, it's good to talk. We'll see you next time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.